What is up, my buttery biscuit? So in today's video, um, I am doing a review of another foundation. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focused uh, Dewy Foundation. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, I actually really liked the original Photo Focus foundation. I did a review on it like two years ago. Um, this one actually is like really, really cheap at Target right now. I don't know if it's just at my local Target, but it's only $2.95. However, they did not have my shade there or the one that I think is my shade. So I got it at Walmart and it was $4.95. Um, only five dollars so this foundation is extremely affordable however with today um, it's Valentine's Day that I'm filming this and I want to look decent so I'm gonna be using my milk hydro primer I want to let you guys know that right away because I know some of you guys are like why are you doing a drugstore foundation with a more higher-end primer but it's Valentine's Day I'm trying to look good you know um, I am gonna have a full face of drugstore makeup coming soon if you guys have not checked out on my channel I'll leave a link right up here I do have a full face of using covergirl makeup um, which actually came out pretty good so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys are um, looking for more affordable stuff and how to wear drugstore stuff I'll leave that right up there so in today's video we're just going to be doing my normal foundation review where I do a eight hour wear test it's a little warm today so let's see how this is going to hold up because low-key I'm already sweating a little bit so I'm gonna have to put the fan on me um because I'm fat y'all and I just be sweating it could be like 70 degrees and I'm sweating you know I don't know high blood pressure I don't know what it is Anyways, you guys, so if you guys are interested in watching this review, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. That way I know you guys like it. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so that way you guys get notified when I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and jump into the review. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the details first. So this is the new Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. Um, this is available in 20 shades. However, at my Walmart and Target, I'm not kidding you, they must have had five. I don't understand. Like, they didn't even have spots for other ones. So um, in Target and Walmart, I don't know if it's just mine, they literally only had, I think it was maybe six okay but like literally nowhere near 20 it was a very very small range of colors um just to let you guys know i'm going to be using the shade uh ooh, what y'all this shade name is oh buff bisque i was like i thought this was the shade name the one 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 five two three um by the way you guys finding your shade in drugstores is really difficult i feel like walmart like and target actually because some targets let you have like they have a sample of it so that way you can test it out but walmart no they have it like sealed and locked in a glass case and it's like really hard to pick out your color um but i just went online and i thought this would be the best one for me and then i found it in my local walmart and like i said at my walmart it was uh, I think it was five dollars like four four ninety five or something like that four ninety eight I don't know it was less than five dollars um, but at Target two ninety five online it's actually six forty nine though. So here goes the product details on it. The newest innovation to the cult favorite photo focus franchise, Dewy Foundation, a weightless, super nourishing foundation that delivers natural all day wear, silky and creamy, coverage is easily buildable from medium to full coverage, and it is easily, tr wait, and it easily transitions from day to night wear. Okay, there we go. Ideal for normal to dry skin types, this moisturizing formula blend seamlessly blurs imperfections and helps minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish. Available in 20 cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, and vegan shades. And then it has the little notes right here. Ultra lightweight moisturizing formula delivers buildable coverage and a long-lasting and long lasting and a hydrating glow so low key for this being such a cheap foundation it has a lot of claims so we're gonna see about that today um because i'm gonna be wearing this like all day so y'all i don't even think the color is right because i was sitting here like playing with it on my hand but ugh, it's just so hard to find my color anyways i'm just gonna go ahead and put on some of the um milk hydro grip i don't know why i want to always say hydra grip but it's hydro um y'all know this foundation this foundation this primer has been my jam recently i don't know why i just really really like it it makes my skin feel good and i really feel like it just grips on the makeup and i love that All right, and I let the Hydro Grip Primer sit in for a minute. I'm going to go straight in with the foundation. I like that this has a little wand to just put it on your face. A lot of people think it's unsanitary, but unsanitary, unsanitary, but I feel like if you're just using it on yourself, it's like really no big deal. Um, and I'm just using this on myself and my face is clean. I just got out the shower, so no bacteria getting back up in there. The smell smells weird. I don't remember the original one smelling like this. Um... You know what sucks is the lighter that I get, I just feel like it's so hard to find a foundation color for me. When I'm in the summer, it's a little bit easier for me. I'm more tan, but when I am pale like this, it's just like my skin is so neutral that it's hard to find a right shade. So I've been looking pale in my recent videos, but summer is going to come back around and I'm going to get back to my C6. That's my favorite color. Oh, 
Oh, okay, this actually, oh, this color is not, too, okay, it looks light on camera, but it's gonna get a little darker, watch. Okay, the coverage immediately is bomb. Like, I just put a little bit, I know it looks like a lot, but it's really just a little bit, and it blends out really, really nice. Okay, this primer, I don't know why for some reason, I just love it so much. I don't know why I feel like my skin has been looking so bomb with it. You guys know my skin has been really, really dry recently, and I don't know, that primer just, oh, it's been doing things for me. I love it. Okay, the coverage of this, perfect. Like, this is a really good medium coverage. I think I'm going to go for a medium coverage today. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is amazing. I absolutely love the coverage so far. And y'all, it's not acting weird with my broken capillaries. So, what the... Okay, I'm shook right now. We're going to see how this is in my fine lines, but y'all, right now this coverage is literally what I have been looking for. You guys know I love the Estee Lauder... Um, What's it called? The Futurist. That one has been my jam recently. I really, really liked it. But this right here, this kind of has the similar coverage to it and the dewiness. But, oh my god, this spread it out really, really easy. Okay, okay. Wet n' Wild, I don't know what it is. It's just kind of crazy that when I was, like, growing up, Wet n' Wild was, like, the cheap, trashy brand. And now they are just, like playing no games they're doing a collaboration with bretman rock and now they're doing like bomb foundations it's trippy okay this foundation is looking really really good on my skin so far i don't know if you guys can see that is looking really good i just need to put on a little bit of bronzer probably because it is just a little bit too pale but it's not as yellow as i thought it looked because on my hand i was like this is way too yellow but right now it's looking pretty good okay on my nose it did start to separate a little bit so we're gonna see how that is throughout the day um normally when that happens when i put some powder on it'll get better so this is what i'm really curious for because this is what i loved the um estee lauder futurist foundation is because the fine lines and wrinkles in my forehead are always my problem y'all know this if you guys watch my reviews and that one I was just shook by I was like a hydrating foundation not sitting in my fine lines is crazy and I love that foundation it's really really good I think I've worn it like five times now um, since doing my review and I absolutely love it the coverage of this is really bomb on my cheeks it looks really good I feel like it covered my redness very easily and very very naturally um, if you guys have broken capillaries on your face you guys know it's kind of like when you put foundation on sometimes it's a hit or miss because it'll either like pull apart off of it and show the redness or it'll cover it. for the most part mine is pretty good but some foundations do get a little weird but let's see how this is in my forehead because that's what I'm really curious about and I know it is a little bit too pale but it's okay that's what bronzer is for let me just go ahead and put this in okay on my forehead I can tell it's already gonna be sitting in my fine lines I'm gonna hurry up and set it so I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder if you guys want a little bit more of an affordable one you guys can always use the um, air spun it's from I think like drugstores everywhere um i'm pretty sure like over here in america they have it in um walmart they have it in cvs and it's like four bucks it's super affordable and that one's really good and cheap but the only problem with that one is it just the smell of it i'm like oh it smells like a grandma and a lot of people like it but i personally do not i'm just like oh like it just smells old to me but it is good powder though it does work pretty good i actually just don't have any and i'm just obsessed with my laura mercier y'all know this so i just wanted to hurry up and set my forehead now um normally you guys i know would all put on concealer underneath your eye however i don't normally do that i just like to take a little bit of the foundation because my under eyes are not really dark and i don't need too much coverage on a daily basis especially Especially if I'm going for a more natural coverage so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually put like one little dot like that right here oh, I've got more on that side there we go and actually this color really isn't too bad I know on camera because of all the lights I probably do look more pale than I do in person however the color is really not that bad I would like it to be just a little bit more dark and then it would be perfect so let me just blend this out under the eye Okay, so the coverage is definitely buildable. I don't know if you guys can tell under my eyes. It actually looks like a concealer because I did have a little bit under my eye already and then I built that up and it looks like a concealer to me right there. So I'm going to go ahead in with my Tati sponge like I did on my forehead with more powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and all that off camera as I've been doing recently. I know back in the day I used to do it all on camera, but I feel like my reviews were literally like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And I'm trying to keep them under like 15 minutes because I feel like that's what people want. When I make the long videos, people are like, oh, this is too long, you know. 
So, I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face, um, and then we're gonna see how it reacts with the powder, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start my timer. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and take um, a little, little bit of the Laura Mercier translucent powder throughout my whole face, just to kind of set that, and then I'll do my um, bronzer and all of that off camera, like I said. So, on my nose, it is separating a little bit, but not too bad. Honestly, People probably wouldn't even notice it unless I mentioned it. It's that faint. But you guys know if you're a makeup artist, we notice the smallest things. So let me just go ahead and set this in. All right, y'all. So it's currently 1.18 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as my start time. Right now, I'm actually really, really liking this. The coverage is really good. I could probably use a little bit more on this cheek. You guys know that my right cheek is way more red than my left. But I actually like it because I'm going for a really, really soft coverage today. And this coverage right here is actually perfect for what I want. Um, it's really, really nice. And it reacted good with the powder. And so far, it's not sitting in my fine lines too bad um, on my forehead. I mean, it, it's a little, you know, it could be better. But hey, it's a drug um, store foundation and it's really, really affordable. So we'll see how it is throughout the day. But I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off of camera. And then I'll do my check-in in a couple hours. Okay, so it's currently 5 o'clock right now. So I've had this on for a couple hours. As you can see on my forehead, it is sitting in my um, big wrinkles right there. And on the side of my nose, it got really weird. Well, actually on this side, on this side, it got really weird. But um, on my cheeks, it's looking really good. And on my fine lines right here, where I normally have a lot of problems, it's really not too bad. So we will see, because it's only been two and a half hours. So far, I'm actually really liking the foundation, but it's not like the best. But for the price, it's bomb. Um, so yeah, I'll do another check-in in a couple hours and let you guys know how it is then. All right, y'all. So it's currently 12.04 a.m. right now. Um, so I've had this on for, what, 10 hours, I believe? I forget when I did the start time. I'm going to have to look at it in my, like, um, footage. I think it's 10 hours at this point, and I did make a shirt change. I know I started off with burgundy, now green. It's like Christmas is in the house. So, okay, y'all. I've had this on for a really, really long time. So I'm going to try to not be too overly critical of this foundation. Um, but right now, it is really not looking too good at all, especially around my nose. It's actually starting to separate and come off on my nose. My forehead looks absolutely terrible. I know on camera right now it probably looks good because there's so many lights on me right now, which are diffusing the skin. So I am going to zoom you guys in. But um, so far, I mean, like on my cheeks, it's really good. But my nose and my forehead, it is horrible. But let me go ahead and zoom you guys in so you guys can get a better look at it. Okay, so I have you guys all the way zoomed in right now. I'm not too sure if you guys can see how it is on my forehead. I feel like the lights are reflecting off of it so you guys can't see all the details. But it's looking pretty bad on my forehead my nose especially like right here on this side is just really really bad but let me zoom you guys back out so overall my final review of it I do actually like it I do think that it's not as long wearing as it says but technically anything over um, eight hours is gonna be considered long wearing when coming to a foundation now me having this on for 10 hours honestly it doesn't look the worst I've definitely tried way worse foundations than this but I wouldn't pick this to be a foundation that I'm going to use for an extremely long day um i feel like 10 hours is pretty long but y'all let's keep it real some of you guys out there keep your foundations on for way longer than 10 hours sometimes it's like 12 16 hours y'all know especially if you go to work and go out after um but it's really not that bad especially for the price point my forehead right now honestly y'all it is showing every single wrinkle that i never even knew that i had so many wrinkles right here um but I will say though, this foundation definitely would be one that I would like to use if I'm just gonna go out. I don't know if I told you guys before, but I like my skin to look dewy if I'm gonna go out. Normally when I go out, I'm literally out for maybe like three hours. Like I'll leave my house at like 11 p.m. and get back home at like two, you know, 2.30. But this foundation definitely would be good for a shorter wear. Um, me for longer wear, it's just a no-go for long wear. But overall, I actually really do like it. If you guys have oily skin, this is not for you. You will not like it at all. But if you guys have dry skin I think you may like it if you have more fine lines and wrinkles than me beware um, y'all know I put a lot of setting powder in um to set the foundation and there's still a lot of wrinkles so beware of that but overall for the price point i think that it's great and i think that if you guys are in the market for a dewy um finished foundation this may be really good for you especially i just have to keep on mentioning the price point considering you guys can get it at target for two dollars and 95 cents go to target.com i looked on there and they had it on there literally only two dollars and 95 cents that's pretty bomb for this foundation i like the coverage i think it was really good it covered enough and it didn't uh, make my skin feel weird it doesn't feel heavy by the way at all 
So yeah, overall, out of like, let's say out of five stars, I would give this about a three, a three and a half, somewhere in that mark right there. I definitely do recommend it for the people who have dry skin, not too many uh, wrinkles, because if you have a lot of wrinkles, you know, no, it's just not gonna look good. And um, started separating on my nose, so beware with that too. Anyways, you guys, if you guys have this foundation, let me know how you guys like it, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.